All right, guys, KB32 here to check it out. So we're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I had an interesting story I came about this morning on about the city of Memphis. And I did a thing a little while ago about those guys trying to do their own little referendum and vote for gun control and gun bans and AR-15s banning those items. And, and so, I don't know, whatever. But if you've ever been to Memphis, it's not a problem about guns, ladies and gentlemen. This was just an opportunity for these guys to go ahead and ban something and show, make a name for themselves. There were three individuals, the Memphis Three or whatever they call themselves. So in any case, this was really cool because bill lee said basically that's not the way it works governor bill lee against gun control referendum i don't know why to say he's against gun form control referendums well you know what what he is against is little municipalities or cities going ahead and superseding the state laws kind of like uh states superseding the federal law or anything else like that but little municipalities uh we had a problem with illinois a little while ago trying to do some of those things little cities in there what, Springfield or something like that, try to ban things. And again, this goes to the fact that you see what's behind me. If a city like that I live in decided they wanted to ban the, the, the possession of these things, well, it would utterly, it would make me have to move. I'm making a lot of noise in the background. All right, let's go ahead. This is done by Ashley Paul of uh, News Channel 3, WREG Memphis. All right, and if you're in the me media, then you know immediately right there, they're anti-gun. They're all pro-gun control. Nobody should be allowed to have guns except for the police and the military. Memphis, Tennessee, following a lawsuit filed by the Memphis City Council to keep gun control referendums on the ballot in November, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee is weighing in on the battle between Memphis and Nashville. And I'm glad he's in there. He's, he's telling these people, you can't do this. This is unconstitutional for the state constitution. The topic sparked controversy across the state over whether or not the referendums were lawful or not. According to Governor Lee, they're not. No, they're not. Instead, he said there were other ways for Memphis to tackle crime that don't contradict the state law. Yeah, like go after the gangbangers. You guys, let me know. Anybody here from Memphis, you know what I'm talking about. Again, one of my, my, my brother's good friends was shot in the neck. Driving down the road by a 16-year-old. <laughs> Instead, he said there are other ways to Memphis to tackle to <laughs> tackle crime. Trying to override that is just picking a fight with the state government. Lee said, yeah, basically they're trying to make a name for themselves. On Monday, Governor Lee spoke out against Memphis City Council's decision to file a lawsuit against the Shelby County Election Commission. I can't get my way and I'm going to whine and cry and bitch and moan and groan. That's what the Democrat way of doing things is. Ye who cries the loudest. Well, ye who squeaks loudest, whatever. They're a bunch of squeaky, loudy, little crim criminal coward little bastards. Okay, we can't have cities, municipalities creating their own gun laws or their own laws that supersede the state laws, Lee said. That is not the way it works, and that isn't the way it should happen going forward. I kind of like this guy. It comes following a battle between Memphis and Nashville over whether the people of Shelby County will have a say on the potential gun form measures this upcoming election. The city council approved the public vote back in July, which it approved would ban the local sale of assault weapons, allowed red light laws, red light, red light, and require gun owners lock up their weapons. House Speaker Cameron Sexton and Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally threatened to withhold state sales tax revenue from Memphis because of the effort. Again, guys, what's happening in, in our country right now is we are having takeovers. You ever seen the little street takeovers, little assholes doing their little thing that they want to do? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Yet, oh, I guess our politicians, especially those on the Democrat side, turn around and they go, well, it's not their fault. It's the guns. I've never seen anybody who uh, did a street takeover, blame it on the Hellcat. Of course, I'd like to have a Hellcat. It'd be a lot of fun. I'd like to have a track hawk. Anybody's got one of those, let me know what you thought. Uh, I say hold a referendum. Representative Antonio Parkinson has said, let people speak. It's not, it's not how it works, dude. Representative Parkinson said there's nothing illegal about holding a referendum defending Memphis and Shelby County leaders after a record break of 398 homicides in Memphis last year. I would like somebody to give me the math on those homicides. You may end up with an entire city that comes out and says, we don't like our policies and our policies are harmful to us, Parkinson said. Yeah, WRG asked Governor Lee what his message would be to the citizens who feel like they are living in a danger zone in fear of living their lives. Move out of Memphis. And I hate to say that, man, because Memphis is a great city. He said the solution is for the state to meet with local law leaders and law enforcement to see how the state can be of assistance to fight against crime. Exactly. How can we fight against crime? 
not ban firearms that will not do anything because I've never seen a criminal. I have never seen a criminal. Oh, oh my gosh, wait a minute. We can't go in there because they're banned. Oh, we should just, we need to sit here. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. I think we've got to do is partner with those who actually know what's happening in Shelby County and Memphis. Yeah. However, Governor Lee stands his ground that the referendum is not the answer. I'm going to put the link to this thing down below. This representative Parkinson, Antonio Parkinson, uh, basically, uh, yeah, what people need to understand is it's not the gun, it's the people behind the guns. And until you go after those people like you want to go after us with the red flags, Let's just say this. Why don't we red flag every freaking gangbanger in the entire world and see if somebody does anything about it? And I guarantee they won't. It's KB32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Boom. Had to stay home this week. I was sick as shit yesterday. Guess we're going to have to go shooting next week. It breaks my heart. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.